The court calls the case of Alice Smith versus John Smith. Ms. Smith, are you here? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Smith, are you here? Present, Your Honor. And are you ready to proceed today? Yes, Your, yes, Honor. Your Honor. If you'll both come forward. Do you both intend to testify? Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor. You'll need to be sworn or affirmed, Madam Clerk. Yes, Ms. Smith, you may proceed with your testimony. Yes, Your Honor. Um, my name is Alice Smith. I'm married to John Smith, and we have a seven-year-old son together. His name is Tommy. We live at 29 Crystal Lane. And on the night of the uh, domestic violence incident, it occurred on June the 7th at around 9.30, where he came home late and just came in yelling and screaming, and our son Tommy heard it, and he immediately got scared. I was confused and scared. I didn't know what was happening. And all of a sudden, he pushed me. He pushed me so hard, I fell back and hit the sofa. The sofa broke my fall. Tommy saw it, he was scared. He ran out of the room. I went after him, but John grabbed me and pushed me down again. He pushed me down so hard and I just, I was just afraid. I got up, he slapped me and I fell down again. I mean, it was, it was just horrible. It was a horrible experience. And my lip was swollen, my face was swollen. I felt blood trickling from my lip. I just didn't know what was going on. And he was yelling something about money, and he said he was moving out. And I was like, what are you talking about? What about money? Of course I have money. I, I have a job. And he accused me of cheating. I, I mean, I just, I just didn't know what was happening. And I heard Tommy in the background, I was like, you know, Daddy, just please don't hurt us. And I was like, see what you did? And he was like, stop disrespecting me. Don't disrespect me again. The next time you do that, I'm gonna kill you. I, I felt like I was in a movie, a, a bad movie. And he left and went to the bedroom I immediately called the police. I called my mom and I was, I couldn't move. I, I couldn't believe what was happening. When the police finally got there, um, they saw the cuts on my lip, the, my swollen face, and they arrested him. They took pictures of my bruises and the cut on my face. I have the pictures if you'd like to see them, Your Honor. Um, Ms. Smith, you will need to show those to Mr. Smith first. Okay. Bailiff, if you will assist her. I didn't see any of these pictures when the police came. Ms. Smith, you may go on with your testimony. Okay, Your Honor, I, I want a protective order because I'm afraid of him. I don't know what he's going to do. After this incident, I'm, I'm afraid for my safety, and I need a domestic violence protective order. And I also want custody of our son, and he can have visitation. I just need a protective order. And this isn't the first time he's hit me. 
in March. Just one moment. Um, Mr. Smith, do you have an objection to those pictures? Uh, no, Your Honor. I just didn't see any of the pictures when the police came. All right, Mr. Smith, you'll have an opportunity to testify later. Those pictures are admitted into evidence. Uh, if you could hand those to me. All right, in front of me, here. All right, now, Ms. Smith, you may proceed. Yes, Your Honor, I was saying that this, has, this isn't the first time he's hit me. Um, in March of last year, he hit me um, for no reason. Again, he accused me of cheating, and I kept telling him I wasn't cheating on him. And he hit me again, pushed me down, and so it's happened again. So I'm just, he's just unstable, and I need a protective order. I'm afraid. All right. Um, Mr. Smith, this is your opportunity to ask questions. You cheated on me. No, I didn't. Mr. Smith, this is the opportunity to ask questions, not to testify. You'll be able to do that later. Do you have any questions for Ms. Smith? No, Your Honor. I guess I don't. All right. Ms. Smith, do you have any other evidence? No, Your Honor, and I didn't cheat on him. My mom's here to testify. Well, do you want her to testify? No. All right. I'm what, fine. If you have nothing further for the court, you may step down. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, now, Mr. Smith, it's your chance to testify. Would you like to take the stand? Yes, Your Honor. I do. Mr. Smith. Um, yes, Your Honor. So on the night in question, I did come home understandably pretty upset. I had found out she was cheating on me. And so I came in and I confronted her about it and we started arguing. Um, I told her that I was going to leave, that I was going to pack up my stuff. And I tried to go into the room and she started hitting me and Tommy ran out of the room crying. And that's when she said, look, what you did and um, so then I, I pushed her to defend myself and she hit against the the couch but I didn't push her as hard as she claims she has a tendency to exaggerate things and um, we started to argue some more um, then she started hitting me again and that's when I hit her back um, we argued some more after that um, I don't know where she gets I never threatened to kill her. Um, then uh, after some more arguing, I slammed the door and went into the room and I started packing my things. Uh, then the police showed up and I was arrested. All right, um, Ms. Smith, do you have any questions for Mr. Smith? No, Your Honor, I don't have any questions. He pretty much admitted everything. All right, Mr. Smith, do you have further evidence? No, Your Honor. All right, you may step down. All right, in the uh, matter of Alice Smith, versus John Smith. The court will find that 
an act of domestic violence occurred on June 7th, 2018, and that the defendant, Mr. Smith, did cause bodily injury to the plaintiff. Uh, further, that the plaintiff was placed in fear of imminent serious bodily injury. The court will find as well that it's in the best interest of the minor child, Tommy, who was exposed to this incident, to be in the primary custody of his mother, Alice Smith, and uh, also in his best interest that he have regular visitation with his father. Uh, the court will order that this is from Saturdays at 10 a.m. until Sundays at 3. Now, Mr. Smith, I would like to give you the opportunity to tell me what arrangements would work best for you uh, regarding Tommy's exchanges. Do you have anybody who can assist with the exchanges? Yes, Your Honor. I can have my mother, Miss Martha Hopkins, pick um, Tommy up. All right. So the court will add that Martha Hopkins is allowed to pick up and return Tommy uh, at all of the visitation exchanges. Court will also. Um, note to both parties that these temporary custody arrangements regarding Tommy are just that. They are temporary. This is a one-year order. During the one year, if either of you chooses to file a custody action in family court, that action could take the place of the custody provisions in this matter. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. And the court will remind you that this order um, will be in effect for an entire year. The court takes these orders of protection very seriously, and any violation could subject you to the contempt powers of the court, which could include being jailed. So uh, I do need you both to stay here while the orders are prepared. Each of you will get a copy, and Madam Clerk will make sure those are delivered to you. Are there any questions? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. You may return to your seats. Please wait on the order. Thank you. You're welcome. 